Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the biggest shout out most, AVLR32 here. And ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I'm going to make this an official patent right now. If someone on YouTube pronouncing my name wrong, you got to come on to my channel, you got to like and favorite my latest video, and you got to subscribe because your boy can't seem to get the satisfaction of people saying it right. All jokes aside, uh, I think Cali Effect did it more as a joke because your boy got a shout out in his latest vlog. <laughs> so uh, his editor, a uh, huge shout out to uh, Chris, uh, he had reached out to me if you watched the Necroface deck, deck profile that we did about two weeks ago, um, talking about, hey, listen, you've been on the grind. We want to uh, give you a shout out. And I'm like, uh, you don't need to ask me. You can just give me one anytime you feel like it. You know, whether it's Christmas, my birthday, Canadian Boxing Day, you can give your boy a shout out whenever you want. <laughs> so, uh, like two minutes into the vlog, our intro plays the rock song that one of my subscribers made for me several months ago. Um, it plays and then you hear it's your host with the most you hear you hear all of that I would have laughed my ass off if they would have played the part where I was like and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain could you imagine that in a Cali effect video <laughs> it gets like 25,000 views giving me a shout out and you just hear me say yeah listen guys I need you to smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button bro that'd be funny as hell so be sure to go watch his latest vlog uh, I just literally cut our webcam on and started recording my phones acting up again so I can't use that camera so I gotta go with this crappy one um, but I make this video to say uh, number one welcome to all the new subscribers that come from that video number two thank you so much to Cali Effect and his editor for giving me this shout out you know I've been on this grind posting almost daily usually every one to two days sometimes three if like I'm out of town for like a, a doctor appointment down at the uh, cancer center I go to in Tampa um, but I, I usually try to post daily. Uh, if you notice, we posted our Tears of the Kingdom in-depth review. Finally, the project crashed on me and I had to start over completely and it was a whole big mess, but we got it on out the door. And Tulin is adorable and I got to talk about that in the review and it, it was a lot of fun. Um, we may start doing more gaming content stuff uh, on the channel to supplement with Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'm not sure yet because I don't want to diversify my audience that much. And it's, it's funny that the shout out comes at this point in time because I literally had someone comment on one of my videos uh, maybe like last week and they said, bro, you have over a thousand subscribers. How is it that you're not breaking at least 1K views for each video? And I can easily explain why. The issue is, is that if you like go back on my channel, like the years upon years upon years we posted, I've got videos that are like 10, 11, 12 years old. And so I've gained subscribers throughout the years. And a lot of those subscribers are probably just dead channels that don't get used anymore. Or maybe they got banned and then the channel never got deleted or they just lost access to the account for whatever reason. And then they made a new one. Um, so a lot of the subscribers I have are just channels that don't even watch anymore so even though I have over 1200 in reality it might be more something like six or seven hundred I mean it's just hard to say unless YouTube just takes out those channels entirely um, which I have seen in the past where like the first time that I thought I got to a thousand it dropped back down to 990 because I don't know I guess a troll came onto my channel made 10 alternate accounts and subbed to the channel I don't know um, but Either way, you know, we're, we're still going to continue to be on the grind and, you know, YouTube is one of those things that you just, you got to grind out and sometimes you get lucky and you get a shout out from a big YouTuber with over 150,000 subscribers and uh, sometimes it's just about putting out good content like I did with that purely combo video, the Yu-Gi-Oh! in-depth thing and I, di I didn't expect that to blow up. I thought it would get a couple hundred views, then we tried to duplicate it with Super Heavy Samurai and that got like 70 views. <laughs> Because, I guess because like Purely doesn't have direct combo lines, and so I really took the time, I guess, to learn the combo lines and tell people, hey, here's the combos that you can do, and it just blew up. Um, so, I guess, I, I'm, I'm not even going to try and bullshit you. Sometimes I don't even understand how the YouTube algorithm can even work in my favor. I know that the Do Not Buy Structure Deck series tends to work in my favor. Um, but yeah, that's why the views tend to be kind of all over the place. Another reason why my views tend to be kind of all over the place and 
why it can sometimes be hard to crack those thousand view videos is because I have such a diverse audience. You know, if you look at some of my most popular videos, a lot of them are Mystic Mind related stuff. And that's not because I was a Mystic Mind player, it's because my dad was a Mystic Mind player. So I would post his profiles or like I would talk about the first place YCS Brazil deck profile that blew up to like 14,000 views. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of like in this niche where like the a lot of the subscribers I have like either just care about like mystic mind burn rogue stuff or like i don't know like random discussions and deck profiles like it's kind of hard to say so that's why i kind of do like a lot of discussions and different kinds of deck profiles and things to supplement that um but I'm, I'm just so grateful i'm grateful to all of you that have subscribed i'm grateful to all of you that comment i'm grateful to cali effect for taking the time to give me a shout out in one of his vlogs because I mean, I, I never thought that I would even get to over a thousand subscribers, and I was telling uh, his editor how my end goal, even though I haven't really talked about much here on the channel, just because it's so far away, but my end goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers, because as I've talked about before, I want all of the ad revenue, even that I'm making now at this point, all of my ad revenue is meant to help pay for my cancer medication and any sort of you know MRIs or any sort of treatment I might need down the line in the future. Everything is... Uh, benign luckily but I still like to have that little nest egg set aside and especially too because if for whatever reason I'm not able to work you know a quote-unquote real job in the future whether it's a grocery store a full-time job construction work like whatever um, then I at least have YouTube to fall back on to I guess kind of supplement my income um, you know I started being able to post regularly again uh, back at the beginning of May because I left a really toxic job I was excuse me, I was working at a fucking radio station, thought it was going to be the job of my dreams, and it turned out to be just the people gaslighting me and talking shit about me behind my back, and just losing almost 10 pounds from not sleeping, and my schedule constantly changing, and almost going to the ER, and then thinking I was going to be like put on an operating table, or put on some sort of anesthetic, like it, 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 it was wild, it was just absolutely wild, and um, I, I'm just so grateful. I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful and thankful that someone took the time to see that, hey, we're on the grind, Sugar Boo Bear. We ain't just out touching grass. <laughs> and we're we're making content. We're, at least I'm hoping, making people laugh. You know, I'm giving people more insight into the game. You know, whether they're a casual player or a competitive player, I'm helping people learn combos with Purely, apparently. I, like I said, I didn't think the video was going to blow up, but it did. We may have to do one for a Purely Sprite, but that ain't going to get posted until, like, probably the day of our regional in Boca Raton, which if you're going to be there, come on up and say hi. Uh, because Sprite Purely has already topped, like, two events now that I've seen on Robbie Cole's channel, and I don't need the sauce getting out. I already did my deck profile Sprite Purely, and I've already adjusted my build like two or three times now since that profile. I'm not going to put my profile out. I'm not even going to do no combo video until like the 10th just because I don't need people knowing how this deck functions. I want to pants people. I want to go in and summon a Purely and then play starter and then go off and do combos and their head's just going to be spinning. But um, anyway, I do want to wrap this up. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time, but just thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you to Callie. Thank you to his editor, Chris. Thank you to his wife, Sabrina. And Callie Effect, I thank you, dog. I, I thank everybody. <laughs> uh, just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative for it. And uh, I, I hope that through this video, uh, it, it shows. You know, Not everybody gets a shout out on a 150,000 plus subscriber channel. And just, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.